Sona. That was Relish Rainbow Sefer for all of you. And as uh, we are on the Talk Time program, uh, we are going to talk to one of our guests. I must say before that that uh, there is some potential potential in all of us, and we realize that we use our strengths to achieve something in life when we have it. Well, um, a journey truly to be taken as motivation, inspiration. Well, today we are going to talk to Ashish Arora, a guy who is jovial, informative, not his child, ever experienced by teachers, and um, is now still having a child within, but somewhere has accomplished beyond anyone could ever have wondered. So to his achievements, uh, he imports radiology components, which is supplied across India, owns two institutes, one is Dance Academy, other is Cullery. To his kitty, he successfully runs a restaurant with different cuisines in Delhi. And a secret yet to disclose that he's a wildlife photographer as well. Hello. Yeah, hi. Hi, hi Ashish. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Well, um, uh, Ashish, uh, we just wondering, I was just wondering when I spoke to you, that you have institutes and equipments business and where did all uh, came in and especially the restaurant idea came in all this? Okay. Uh, first, I'd like to mention that uh, institute, uh, it's the latest edition. Hmm. Though radiology, that is the oldest one, which I started in 1993, hmm. uh, almost after a few months of my schooling. But to answer the question first, I would like to quote something from a famous and prominent person like Albert Einstein. He said, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. However, I'd like to add that this might not be true for everyone, but only for entrepreneurs. Because entrepreneurs are hardworking. And opportunities are disguised in hard work for them. As for me, the hard work was when I, my first job was at Wimpy's. I was working in operational crew. So as you could expect that, my seniors were tough. They told me to mop floors, clean drains, all along with the other, other uh, core jobs. This is funny, but I used to think that I would have a restaurant one day and I would hire my manager. And in 2000, when I got a chance to open one, I took franchisee of muffins. And then uh, three years back, uh, we opened up a brand called Cartoon Cafe with the special uh, cuisines, the seven specialty cuisines that we have and nine world-class chefs and uh, cuisines from all over the world. So that's where in the restaurant business came in from. And uh, it's also to my passion that uh, I loved to eating while I was traveling all over the world. So I wanted to taste everything in-house. And that's where my taste is dignified and uh, it's being shown to the world. Wonderful. So how did you manage all these in a different profession of different uh, verticals? Okay. Actually, that is uh, what I believe it is the key to managing is happiness. If everything is managed well, then one can sleep well and live a contented life. I'm always looking to finding something I'm passionate about. And because passion is a clear path to happiness, as far as managing the verticals, my team does it for me. I can only hire people and manage them. It's one, once I've heard that, that you can only hire people. You cannot make a company. The people you hire make a company. Automatically, the verticals are managed by my people and everyone is happy. I am happy. So I think it's an auto mode that these are being managed. But it's all about uh, how you want to live a contented life and uh, you want to sleep well. Wonderful. Absolutely. So where did all this vision uh, came into you when you started uh, developing this one on step? Okay. The vision uh, is nothing, I believe, is a virtue of a leader, Mukta. It is basically an art of seeing what is vis invisible to others. And it gets enhanced by achievements. Achievements and growth, they go simultaneously. And in the process, they are in the process of building a leader. So I might have been looking at growth unknowingly. I, would, I never was looking at growth, but I still live life with banality and things unfold in a humongous way by itself. I've never kept targets of sales or turnovers or for that matter, number of companies ever in my life. But yes, uh, I, I'm running five companies. Uh, I've been in investing business and uh, also the, uh, the businesses of uh, Infocom and uh, phones and a lot of other businesses. But right now, existing businesses are these five businesses. And uh, yes, I did it. And it, it's not an achievement. It's, it's something that I, looking, I was looking forward to. But yes, they are built up in a process. 
Uh, did you ever plan when you were uh, as a child uh, or they abruptly came into your being? Oh, I never planned. Uh, in fact, uh, in my school time, if I remember, I could not plan. I, I did not plan. I could not plan because uh, I was not a very studious uh, student in my school. So I could not plan much, but uh, it came in by itself uh, just because I wanted to achieve something. Right. So what do you enjoy the most among all of these or beside these? Okay. Uh, see, uh, the passions that once you have in school and if they are not being uh, fulfilled, this is something everyone enjoys. So I still enjoy the game that I play. I, we pro I play uh, volleyball professionally. I still enjoy that uh, to my heart's content, to the core of my heart. I also enjoy dancing, which I wanted to become a dancer in my school. But that time uh, in the in 90s, you did not have the benefit uh, of uh, following those dreams or you did not have a chance to do these things in school time. Right. So even uh, you are having a wildlife photographer as a hobby or is going to be a part time, I mean, a main task uh, for you in the few years. <laughs> it started basically, Mukta, because I was traveling so much. I saw I went to capture everything. I've, while I was traveling the world, uh, while we were import, I'm importing from around nine countries. So I was traveling all over the world and I wanted to capture everything. So I haven't learned anything, but this is something I usually do. I love, I love doing that. I love capturing. I'm, I don't say that I'm, I'm good at that. But yes, maybe in future, if I am better and people like it, then I be make it uh, kind of a blogger or maybe a career after my retirement. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, Ashish, one more thing. Like uh, you have been telling that uh, your school days and teachers' time. What was the all over experience uh, about you, your teachers, your uh, relationship with each other, and overall, uh, what all your learning was? Okay, once my one of my teachers, who was a librarian, always told me that she remembers me because of my naughtiness, and she does not remember a lot of students who used to go to the library and uh, study hard. So I think. Uh, I have achieved everything because of the failures and of the slaps that were given to me by my teachers. So I think everyone in my school, each and every teacher has given me one slap at least in my school time and that actually has given me what I am today. I have uh, shaved and carved to be what I am by my teachers by not uh, giving me the, uh, the false encouragement, the right encouragement by slapping me every time I was wrong. <laughs> so the failures have given me the chance to improve and uh, to achieve what I am today. So we should take as a learning that whatever you are doing uh, should not be taken as for granted <laughs> over the period of time. So every person, every uh, child has something special in it, right? I think uh, the students and children can take a lesson from it, but the parents should not listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> Studying is something that they always tend, uh, tell their children to do, but something that uh, children should listen to this, but parents, keep your ears closed. Don't study, don't make your child study hard and they will achieve something in life. No pressures. Right, great. Okay, uh, where do you see yourself down the line in five years from now, Ashish? Mukta, I have lived the whole my life by what I'm living today. So I live it on a day-to-day -day basis. I have uh, achieved or not achieved anything, but... Uh, I don't see any there except what I'm here today. I loved my past. I lived that each and every day in my past to my fullest. And uh, today I do not think about tomorrow. So in five years, maybe I'm somewhere where I don't even think about it, but uh, I don't live in uh, future or past. I learn from the past and I don't think about future. I live in currently. So any tips and tricks for people who wish to uh, follow your path or uh, maybe some connected to you. Don't lose hopes while you fail. I have failed a lot of times in my life and uh, failures have given me a chance to improve. Failures are nothing but a path to success. So people who usually are disappointed by the failures, I can only tell them failures are there to teach you. I have, what I am, I have achieved what I have achieved is only because of failures. So I still love to fail every day because Probably that is a way to achieve. So in all this, like we should not feel that uh, life or every day is for granted and we should be living it to the fullest. You got it. Yes. So people who wish to uh, connect to Ashish Arora, because he's not on social media, so you know, won't be able to catch him there. 
<laughs> right so uh, probably you can just catch him on uh, instagram or whatsapp or for facebook through his cartoon cafe restaurant uh, cartoon with a k uh, probably he can connect it with there or uh, he can be connected to an email id ashish a s h i s h at the rate g i india dot i n that's right yeah and uh, i would like to add i'm not on social media because i would compare it from uh, a perspective that you might have political friends but you are not in politics so you might might uh, i might have friends all of them who are on the social media but i am not into that <laughs> So there's a catch, you know. When you are not on social media, you're working actually, and there's no need to <laughs> show it to the people around you. Yeah, you can say that. You can say that. I am happy this way. I don't. Uh, I don't have any much of the screen time, phone time, nothing. But uh, just relaxing and eating my favorite food every day. <laughs> Wow, that's so wonderful and so inspiring. Thank you so much, Ashish, for connecting to us. Thank you for calling and me. And the people yeah. who wish to be with him, yes, uh, Ashish at the rate gi india dot i n. That's the right time. That's the right place. You can connect to him <laughs> because uh, there he'll be giving you a personal test to connect <laughs> to you all. <laughs> I would love to do that. Thank you so much, Ashish. Have a great Thanks, day. Thanks, Mukta. You have a great day too. Bye bye. Thank you. So that was Ashish out there who was just giving us some tips and tricks because he is not on social media. He is just being a man of his life and uh, of uh, his vision. So if you wish to also just uh, be successful in your life, just cut down that screen time. Enjoy the track of Colonial Brothers' Indian Rain, only on FM Gold 100.1 megahertz.